Hi everyone, my name is Qiu Yue, and my topic today is about hobbies and dream. I will talk specifically about how I set my dream on my hobbies and develop a skill in Purdue University. The story started in elementary school. One day, I sent a postcard to my friends. Suddenly, I noticed a stamp on the postcard. That small but exquisite stamp. Since then, my mom bought me a stamp album and I started to collect stamps. After that, my life was not just full of studying or hanging out with my friends. Collecting stamps has become a part of my life. Traveling around, going to the post office, I grabbed all the opportunities to collect stamps. Not very longer, I already have stamps from different countries with a diverse variety. But I was not satisfied at collecting them. I asked myself, why don't you draw the patterns by yourself? In order to get this goal, I started to learn painting. Just like every interesting thing has a boring start, I spent half one year to sketch the geometry. Finally, I start with colors. This is my first oil painting, which takes me about two weeks to finish. Actually, two weeks is a, not a long time for oil paints because you need to dry between each covers and it takes about two to three days. These two are my favorite ones. Both of them are landscape painting. Also, it took me forever to draw the clouds for the left hand side and the walls and trees for the right-hand side one. I still enjoy every moment in painting them, and it gave me confidence to learn landscape architecture. Then the last winter holiday before I came to Purdue was coming. I had no homework and part-time job during that one month holiday. So I decided to learn watercolor by myself because I thought it would be helpful for my major. Different with oil paintings, watercolor is more flexible because water can flow everywhere if I don't control well. Besides, watercolor is too light to cover the layers, so it is difficult to revise if I draw something wrong. One day as usual, when I was watercoloring, I realized that I put much attention on the landscape and flowers and I see them draw people or some animals. So I decided to draw some people such as a little girl and a cat into my painting to make it more like a real life. Then in summer holiday, I even tried poetry as well. First, I bought a poetry book and draw from the pictures in the book. It really helped me develop the skills about using shadow and lines to shape a person's look. By the way, sometimes I'm really glad that I can paint, because a unique painting is a great present for my friends. For example, there's a poetry of my friend's idol, and I sent her as a birthday present. She was very happy at that time, and it took me about two weeks to finish. Fortunately, all the stuff I did in past days provides a good basis for my studying in landscape architecture in Purdue. Because I have a studio class which focuses on painting and, uh, you know, the skills about designing. And these two are the first homework I did for this class. I have to say, I really developed my professional designing skills in Purdue in this semester. I started to draw in ink and draw rough plans, and I did a lot of things that I have never done before, and all of them make me feel like I'm on the way to my dream to be a landscape architect. Besides, our professor is really nice. He always told us how to think out of the box. For example, he always told us to be more creative, such as painting from a hand-shaped area, I'll draw the nine objects in the circles. To be more specific, in one particular class, 
Our professor gave us a photo to draw and then invest it for the second time. I got a painting that looks like from a view of standing upside down for the second time, which is really unique to me. Except for root plans, I also learned how to draw three-dimensional paintings as well. I painted directly from the nature so it looks like more like a real life. For example, the second picture is a view in our campus. Guess where is it? In order to make the painting more like a real situation, not just a deserted place with nobody live, I started to add more people in. Our professor said that it can help us to better understand what the behavior settings of people after it constructed. At the same time, we started to design real plans by ourselves. Those three are the final logs of my plans. For each project, we need to color in two different ways. One is reality, another way is abstract, which is the second picture on the right. However, it was not easy as it looks like, because I started with an empty paper. It really needs time to consider what elements to put, which place to sit, what are the clients looking for. So it's more than just painting, it's designing. In conclusion, I really learned a lot about designing this semester, just like the growing trees in the pictures I show. I think I grow up a lot, too, and I always believe that if I keep pursuing my dreams, one day I will reach it.